Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to try to figure out the uh, the number of capital units and labor units that we need to employ so that we can spend a thousand dollars and then use that to figure out what is the output. Okay, so we've got a bunch of things in the problem that we're going to use to figure out uh, what the answer is. Okay, so uh, first case is that total cost is equal to the wage times the number of labor units plus the R, which is the rental rate of capital, times the number of capital units. Okay, K, K is going to be capital. Let me write that over here. K equals capital. It goes back to our German uh, heritage in economics. Okay. Uh, all right, so then uh, we want to use the least cost rule, and the least cost rule says that we should produce uh, or employ the number of laborers and uh, capital units so that the marginal product of labor equals the marginal product of capital, but they cost different amounts of money. So we'll divide that by the wage, and we'll divide this by the, the what's called the rental rate or the price of capital. Sometimes it'll be the price of capital. Okay, uh, we've already been given part of this. Uh, oh, actually, there's one more thing, I guess, is that once we figure out what K and L are, uh, we need to multiply them, and that'll give us the quantity. This is the production function right here. Okay, so uh, we know that what we're working with here is $1,000, because in the problem, it says the firm spends exactly $1,000. And then we know that the wage is ten dollars. This is L. And then we know that the the rental rate of capital is twenty. And we're going to multiply that by K. Okay. So this is the cost function. And then we know we actually know this too. We know that the marginal product of labor is K. Uh, that was worked out by finding the partial derivative with respect to L and the partial derivative with respect to K. So that's already done for us. So we're just going to plug that in. Uh, we'll say K right here. And then that is divided by 10. And then we'll say uh, L over here. And we'll divide that by 20. OK. Now we can um, cross multiply and then calculate uh, what a, uh, set this equal to K and equal to to L, and then I'm just going to plug that in there. That'll give us the optimal combination to spend $1,000. So uh, this would be 20K equals 10L. Okay, and if I want, if I want it in terms of capital units, uh, this would be 0.5L. Okay, because that's that's one half. You could also say uh, K equals one half. It's the same thing. Uh, and then for labor. If you rearrange uh, that, divide both sides by 10, it would be 2K. Okay, so now either one, well, we're going to plug it in to there and then solve for K and L. Then we're going to use both of those, plug those guys back into here, and then that'll tell us what the output is, how much output the firm can produce. That's our target. That's what we're after. Okay, so uh, $1,000 equals 10 L plus 20 and then we're gonna plug in this this function here so 0. 0.5 L and this becomes 10 L this becomes 20 L equals 1000 and then L is uh, should be 50 let's make sure thousand divided by 20 is 50 uh, right okay so now it's your choice you could um, you could plug in this right into there you could also say uh, we could plug it back into our cost function and we could say that uh, this would be uh, 10l this would be 500. Uh, plus 20k, and then this will be 500 equals 20k, and k equals 25. So this is the co this is the optimal combination right here. Okay, so k is 25, 
labor is 50. And then we just plug both of these into our production function. I guess there's one right there too. Same deal. Uh, so 25 times 50, 25 times 50, and that is 1,250. So that is the answer. 1,250 is the number of units that this firm could produce when they use the least cost method given that production function.